Oh, hey fam! Welcome to this episode of Heaven's Homestead. On this episode, we are going to be talking about planning, what my goals are for this land, and just kind of um, what my expectations are. So I'm trying to set my expectations very reasonably, and um, yeah, let's discuss it. First thing is the creek, all right? The creek is dry. It's definitely a seasonal creek. The spring is dried up that was here in July, so it's September now, um, which kind of was sad. I was hoping for some spring water, but I'm sure it'll come back next year. So. Um, we're going to go around different parts of the property. I'm going to use this tripod so I can get a nice fixed location and hopefully show you some of the things that I would like to do to kind of make this place uh, livable. And um, just to clarify, I'm not going to live out here for the next like 10, 15 years. I'm going to come out here a couple times a year, um, enjoy life, ground myself here, and try to figure out what to actually do with the land. Because if I just came out here and built a house, it wouldn't turn out right. It would be in the wrong spot. So you really have to experience the land to live or to create something in a place that you can live and thrive in. So um, let's keep going. Oh, hey fam, fancy running into you out here. So this spot right here, I am wanting to put like a office yoga studio dome house right here. So. Um, basically making it where everything would have to be hiked up. This is, you can't access it. I mean, I guess the people's property behind it, they probably could access it easier and I could work with them to get like this stuff delivered. But, um, there's tons of timber over here. Like all of the cedar probably got cut down like 20, 30 years ago on the Northern slope. Cause that's where we're at on the Northern slope. But I mean, there's some huge red oaks and some huge white oaks over here. So um, basically the goal is going to be to try to get a little spot cleared out because we already have a spot where a tree is dead and so that's opened up like the forest floor here a lot. And um, this is where we can get cell service the easiest. Uh, in the future, Starlink will be available in this area in about a year. So that's what we're going to rely on because it just is so much better than the cell service out here. The T-Mobile connection I have I think is like two or three megabits per second so not really good but it is better than nothing. So yeah that's the plan over here. Um, I'll probably go through and clear the small trees first just to get a better idea of the land and also, the cell phone tower is that way, so I think I'm going to have to clear out, like, just enough trees to, like, have line of sight, um, with the tower to make sure that everything works the best that it possibly can. But yeah, good times. And there is a black bear holding still. I did not see any cubs, but I am definitely about to back away. Oh my god, it's laying down over there. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh god, okay, um... I don't know what to do because of a black bear. It's a little black bear, so I'm just gonna keep backing off the other way I went. Alright, so it definitely sees me. It's just posted up over there, like, looking over here. And, um... Oh, my heart's racing pretty hard right now. Uh, probably like five, six hundred pounds. It's, or no, that's like a three or four hundred one. But, um, oh man, okay, wildlife out here in Missouri. I hope it didn't get in my car. All right, pretty much my only concern is if it has cubs with it. So, like, I'm trying to survey the area to make sure that there's, like, no little baby cubs, because... I don't know if I can get to that car faster than the bear. Oh my god, it smells me, I think. God damn it. It's probably really hard to see on here and definitely not worth me getting mauled by a bear to get you guys a better picture of it, but it is like right there in the center. 
and it's just staring at me. Like, it's hanging out. I don't think it sees me as a threat or anything, but, like, I don't know what the laws are on bears out here. But, oh my god, what a cutie. Alright, fam. Um, he did not get in the car, and I just had a screen up on the window, so... I guess I got lucky. I'm assuming it's a male bear, because there's no cubs with it. I don't see any cubs. I am so freaked out. Like, my... This is only, like, the second bear I've seen in nature. The last one was a brown bear. This one... Brown bears are slow as shit, and yeah, this is just one that's hanging out right over where one of those burrows were in the last video. So yeah, everything in my body is telling me I need to get out of here, like, that there's no reason to hang out here, like, I don't have a gun to shoot the bear if I have a problem with it. Um, I've got pepper spray, but like, I don't have bear mace. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of trying to keep my eyes over there peeled. I looped all the way around, but like I don't know what to do. And that explains, so that's what was chewing on the turtle. Um, that's what was chewing on the bones over there. Oh, I am not excavating that cave, alright? I don't care if it's that small or what. Like, it's... A bear. It's a bear. Not trying to do that. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do. This is a lot to mentally process. So yeah, I'll, uh, keep you updated. And here's another project that I am hoping to not spend copious amounts of hours on, but milling. So I have never um, milled wood before, but this is a cedar, it's an eastern red cedar, which is in the juniper family, uh, but it's not actually a juniper, and it is so cool. I'm going to try to count these rings, but maybe you guys want to pause it and try to count the rings? I don't know. They say that they're like ancient trees. So I want to know how long did something like this take to grow. Hey fam. Alright, I've been cutting wood. Ugh, I can't walk through here. And now I am on my way to see if the bear is still here. I've heard shots surrounding me, so maybe somebody else did the dirty deed. I gotta stop filming and look around. Right, I think the bear was either laying right here or right over there. I'm not gonna go over there. <laughs> but oh my god. Gotta keep my head on a swivel. And there's a little trail right here, but this is not one of my trails, so... <sighs> I don't know what to do. Oh, hey fam. All right, I'm calling it. I'm getting out of here because the bear, I don't care if somebody else shot it. I don't care if it left, all right? I don't have bear mace and um, I don't have a gun right now. So, I don't know. I should have a gun out here and I should have bear mace. It's that simple if I wanna be out here and feel like I don't have to look over my shoulder <laughs> for a bear because that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna show off the piece of wood that I cut up there. I'm gonna load it into the car and just take it home with me and finish my, like, whole, like, milling by hand, like, delusion that I have to get out of my head so I can move on to other things. And, um, yeah, so let's check out that wood. And here is the ridiculousness I got into earlier while my phone was charging. I've got a chunk of cedar. And then this big chunk right here is up off the ground. I never counted how many are over there, so I'm going to take a picture so I can do it from the bottom. And this one over here, I think it's kind of up off the ground. It's off the ground more than it was. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hold that home with me. No big deal. You know, three foot section of wood, 1800 miles.
All right, um, that's episode two of Heaven's Homestead, uh, wrapping it up. I am hungry, I am tired. I think driving out here uh, was kind of not the best decision. And um, I know what I need in the future. I am good off of trying to excavate that cave and I have a nice big chunk of a souvenir. So I hope you enjoyed it. Do all that fun stuff. Um, uh.